Now, the meteorological department is now warning that the ongoing rains in the country will persist for the remainder of the week. The latest forecast suggests that the rains will be experienced in almost every part of the country. And as Enoxicole now reports, farmers are now weighing their options in the face of the changing weather patterns that have already disrupted the crop cycle. In Kenya's food basket of Transoya, farmers are confused. Frederick Rono's farm is overgrown by weeds. He would typically be waiting a little longer before tilling the land, but this year he is beginning to get worried. Vua mwaka huu haitabiriki, haijulikani. Lakini tumeona ya kwamba tu afadhali tu tu tupande tukipata mbolea. Rono says that will represent a sharp departure from the traditional maize farming cycle. He says January is usually a dry period. Wakati huu tungalikuwa tuna tunga ngombe watu watunge lima kwa sababu ya mambo ya chakula ya ngombe unajua tukilima mapema eh, tutakosa chakula ya ngombe kwa hivyo hata ngombe ngeliendelea kukula kula vile iko sasa unaona inanea he says other farmers use the month of january to till and prepare their farms for the planting season during the long rains that usually kicks in in march but things have changed with an increasingly unpredictable weather. He talks about the heavy spells of unexpected rains, more frequent and severe floods, fluctuating temperatures and severe droughts. The meteorological department agrees with Rono that indeed the weather pattern has been unusual. <laughs> the weatherman father says January will be wetter than usual. The Met Department attributes these changes to what it calls the Indian Ocean Dipole, a temperature different on both sides of the ocean that triggers heavy rains. The Met says currently the western part of the Indian Ocean that includes the coastal stretch from Somalia, Kenya and Tanzania is warmer than usual, making the waters warm. At the same time, the eastern part of the Indian Ocean, especially parts closer to Australia and Indonesia, are colder than usual, pushing the rain-bearing winds towards the western part of the ocean where Kenya falls. The weatherman is predicting moderate rains for the southern part of the country, western counties of Siaya, Kisumu, Homabe, Migori, Kisi, Nyamira, Transoya, Baringo, Uwasingishu, Elgeo Marakwet, Laikipia, Nandi, Nakuru, Narok, Kericho, Bomet, Kakamega, Vihiga, Bongoma and Busia are expected to experience showers and thunderstorms in the afternoons and evenings of Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. And then sunny periods will take over from Friday to Monday in the afternoon. Northeastern and northwestern parts of the country are likely to remain dry. The latest forecast says Nairobi, Nyandarwa, Nyeri, Kirinyaga, Moranga, Kiambu, Meru, Embu and Tharakanithi counties are likely to experience light morning rains on Tuesday and Wednesday, while the rest of the days they are likely to experience sunny conditions. Afternoon and evening showers are expected over a few places on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. An unusual picture whose real effect on the country's production and other aspects of life will take longer to determine. Enoxicolia, Citizen TV.